There we go. The glowy box down there is an Ionix uh, risk machine. Now, I shouldn't say risk PC since that was an actual brand, um, but you know it's a PC. It runs risk. Um, and there's a the desktop there. Uh, somebody gave me it, which is um, very good because uh, I followed one on eBay and it went for silly money. Um, it's running. Let's get to there. There we go. It's running Risk Five, and uh, as you can see, I'm running the latest version that I can get for this particular machine, um, which was a uh, June 2013. It's a curious thing. You um, burn your own the ROM when the machine is actually working. Um, so, you know, down here, for example, that file there, um, which is a zip file, as you can probably imagine. Um, you click the various bits and it burns the ROM in the machine while the operating system remains standing, uh, which is, I thought was quite remarkable, to be honest. Thing is, though, is the size of these ROMs and this, because the, the system is contained within the ROM. You then obviously add uh, a whole bunch of apps and stuff like that that you want to throw in yourself, but the operating system itself is uh, in the ROM. And to give you an idea as to how big these huge files are, there we go. That's bytes. Well, what, 22 meg? 22 meg is the entire system. If you've not got any system at all on this, no hard disk or anything like that, it'll still boot to ROM. And you'll still pretty much have all of this. You won't have any bells and whistles, of course, but the ROM contains the operating system, uh, which is obviously pretty cool. And good for viruses and all that sort of thing. Uh, avoiding such things. Um, this dock here is an add-on. Click a thing to start it. Doesn't start up. Everything drops to the taskbar down here. And then you get whatever it is that you're looking for at that moment in time. Not being used to this idea of um, things opening in the taskbar but not on the screen. It took me a wee while to figure that one out. There's other kind of weird idiosyncrasies like um, turning the volume up or down. You do it within apps, but uh, you know that's what you've got for sound. You know, there's no nice, really convenient way of doing it. I couldn't see. Uh, I've only been playing it for a couple of weeks, but I'm gonna figure that one out. Um, it's got a Linuxy feel to it, with a couple of things. Um, you know, using for. Um, uh, downloads and stuff like that and having to compile things yourself and having to do manual installs and um, placing things in individual folders rather than kind of automatic installs, stuff like that. Uh, but it does do everything that it's supposed to do and I must say I quite like it. Um, on a day-to-day -day operating system, well I'm not sure that's necessarily possible. Um, it depends on what you do, of course. If you only do light surfing, you can get away with it. But, you know, you ain't having any online video and stuff like that. But um, it's a good system. And as I say, it's absolutely tiny. I mean, I've got this stout full of MP3s and all that sort of stuff. And if you look at the... There you go. That's just what a... It's, it's really small. So you have uh, heaps of space, and it's uh, mostly robust. Um, it's a fairly stable system, however, when something does crash, um, it can bring everything down. Because if it's the thing that's at front, then uh, you kind of get access to anything else to kind of close things down. No control, alt, deletes and stuff like that. Another weird thing, though, is this. There you go. So that window there, the yellow bit, is um right there, I'll show you this way actually. Easier, so there we go. And then that that. Now that window here yellow tells you which one's in front. That window's in front, even though it's behind. That took me a while to figure out. Um it's perfectly possible to uh, cover the screen with a whole bunch of stuff and then be struggling to do anything with it. Minimize is a shift click 
which as you can imagine I can't really do. No, I'll try, I'll try. Because it minimises, doesn't it minimise in the way that you think? Right there. There we go. It goes there. Because this isn't a desktop conceptually. It's a pin board. And that has now been pinned to the pin board. Fun system. Recommend it. Raspberry Pi, Panda boards, Beagle boards. Loads of um, uh, modern-ish hobbyist stuff is running risk nowadays. So there's a wee bit of a resurgence for it. So there's a fair amount of help online. Uh, however, for me, I have an original machine. And that makes me happy.